Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. What are the greatest blues harp solos of all time? Well, today I'm going to give you my top five based on listenability, tastefulness, and just outright awesomeness. I'm picking from the classic blues harmonica tradition and I'm just taking solos within a song rather than instrumental tracks. If you want to learn any of the five tracks that I'm about to run through then check out a free trial of my harmonica school where I teach all of these songs plus loads more of the best blues harmonica tunes of all time. So. In at number five is Help Me by Sonny Boy Williamson number two, or Rice Miller by his actual name. This is in there for me for its tone, big fat tone. It's also really tasteful. Sonny Boy Williamson was one of those guys who just put in what needed to be there. But that said, there's some beautiful licks in there, including the one you just heard, the classic Sonny Boy lick. There's actually an intro and then I think a couple of extra solos in this song. They're all beautifully done and together it makes one hell of a blues harmonica study and a really great place to start in terms of the greatest blues harp solos. Number four on my list is Drifting and Drifting by Paul Butterfield. Now, this is an epic tune and there's this amazing blues harmonica solo in there. For me, it's a combination of things. There's this beautiful, really kind of rich, aggressive vibrato that Paul Butterfield gets. And he gets it in this song and I just think it's gorgeous. There's the kind of licks in there. There's just some beautiful licks. It's quite a big solo and it's got that kind of gritty, slow, kind of thing about it, but most of all, it's the emotion, it's the emotion he gets into it. I always think with Paul Butterfield's solos, they're some of the most emotional solos you can listen to. You can hear the pain, you can hear the joy. There are times when you feel like he's begging for something, and I just think that makes this one of the greatest. Just listen to it again and again. Number three on my list is Last Night by Little Walter. This is one of my favourite Little Walter solos and what I love about it is that it's so mournful, it's absolutely in keeping with the topic of the song, but it's also got a huge dynamic range. So it starts kind of low, it comes up, it comes back down. There's this beautiful kind of story that he tells throughout. And obviously it's got Walter's dynamic use of warbles as well. I think his warbles are like nobody else's, inimitable, and uh, just absolutely beautiful. He uses them a lot in this. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow Do you tell me every day yeah. brings by Absolutely beautiful. Number two on my list is Messing With The Kid by Junior Wells. This is such a distinctive solo and it's so funky. It's frantic. And it's got this kind of amazing syncopation going on. As well as, you just heard, some pops. But they just mean that it's immediately recognisable as Junior Wells. He had such a distinctive style. It's very melodic as well. But it's really just the rhythmic stuff going on. It's one of my favourites of his. And it's just the whole package. And number one on my list of the greatest blues harmonica solos of all time is Walking By Myself by Big Walter Horton. For me, this solo has everything. It's got power, it's got precision, and it just feels like the perfect solo to me. It starts with that amazing 
set of triplets. I know this note for note because I play it with my band and it's the only song I do where I try and replicate the original solo because I just can't improve on it. It's so beautiful. 24 bars of perfection. Off that when he goes down to that low bend. This is one of the first solos I ever heard amplified and I just thought, what is that? I need to do that. Yes. I don't know what else there is to say. It's just you beautiful. Know I love you. Ba -dum, ba -dum. You know so that's it for my top five blues harmonica solos of all time. If you want to learn any of those five songs, plus dozens of other amazing blues harmonica solos, check out a free trial of my harmonica school. There's a link in the description to find out more about how to get hold of that. So this has just been a little bit of fun running through my favourite solos, but I'd really like to know yours as well. What is it that makes you tick? Which players do you think have played the best solos ever? And what is it you love about them? Let me know in the comments and uh, let's continue the discussion. I'll see you soon for another harmonica lesson. Until then, enjoy your practice. Cheers.